Hi there, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger, and we always start off with a hug. So come on. How you guys doing today? I love to say it's not cute not knowing. It's time to know. TMZ is getting sued. It's a female on-air person, and it's a female producer. They said... They've been denied advancement. They've been belittled. They can't do the same thing that the guys do. This is going to be interesting because now we've seen it with the Ellen Show. People are speaking up about how they're treated. Will this change the attitude of Harvey? <laughs> Will they change? Because, you know, he'd be letting you know this is his show. If he want to get rid of you, he's like, plum, you can be replaced. But this is serious with TMZ getting sued. They're saying the culture on the show is very sexist. Will they change? We're gearing up for the MTV Video Music Awards. They aired this Sunday, everybody. Kiki Palmer is going to be hosting. Lady Gaga is going to be one of the performers, as well as Miley Cyrus. This is going to be interesting because they're actually bringing people into New York to perform. They're going to be doing a lot of outside shots because of the virus. So it's going to be real interesting. But MTV Video Music Awards are this Sunday. In a move that surprised me, The Real has named Garcelle Bavo, I guess that's how you pronounce her name, Fancy, as one of the new ladies on The Real. A lot of us know her as Fancy for the Jamie Foxx show. She has an impressive background. NYPD Blue, she was on there. She did The Real Housewives of, of Beverly Hills. She was on there. She's going to be in Coming to America, too. Oh, she has, she's got an impressive background. She's 53 years old. She has three kids. She's a grandmother. She's one of the fabulous glam moms. But I was surprised that they went with a woman who's older. I really thought that they would, you know, you know, get somebody younger. But this is going to be interesting because Garcelle is kind of like at the top end of the Gen X. The conversation will be interesting from her perspective, being an older woman, and the perspective of, you know, the other ladies. Do you think they'll get along? How y'all think Lonnie Love feel about this? This is going to be interesting. The seventh season of The Real Kicks off September 21st. But are you surprised that they went older with who they chose to be a co-host? Dancing with the Stars, the new season is September 14th. Tyra Banks is now the executive producer. She's a new host. They're keeping the dancers and the pros in a bubble. And they are like, can't find out until September 14th. Every time I find out somebody dancing on that show, I'm going to let y'all know. The latest is A.J. McLean, one of the Backstreet Boys. He's 42. He's actually been prepping for a while because his body looks amazing. But he's going to be on the new season of Dancing with the Stars, September 14th. It's going to be interesting. Tyler Perry, his final show for the OWN Network. The Have and Have Nots, a new season kicks off tonight. I absolutely love Tika Sumter as that bad girl. But Candace, she plays a great bad girl. I remember I interviewed her, you know, years ago because she's, she's really like a real sweetheart. And she says she likes that role because it's a role that she can really sink her teeth into. And she plays that have and have nots new season tonight. Tyler Perry, as you know, is doing a ton of shows for BET. September the 2nd, get ready for the House of Pain. It is returning as well as the Browns. He's bringing those characters back for a new show, Assistant Living. The Browns are David and Tamla Mann. Years ago, in around 2000, in the early 2000s, when the have and have nots came on, I had a chance to interview Tyler Perry, and he was like, well, do you like the show? Y'all know I love Tyler. I was like, I, 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 I said, maybe it has to grow on me. And he says, Patty, give it a minute. Give it a minute. He said, because the writing and everything is getting better. 
he says, and let it grow on you. Show started, what, in 2005, 2020. House of Pain is back. In more disturbing news regarding Miss Robbie, Sweetie Pies, Tim, the insurance policy, the death of her grandson, Tim being involved in a murder for hire against his own nephew. They're getting the insurance agent who is writing all those policies. He's talking. Tim took out a million dollar policy on his mother. Tim was a bad seed. He took out a million dollar policy on Miss Robbie. And everyone is saying that when her, her house was robbed and they showed it on the show, that he must have had a major part in it. Mm, a million dollar policy. Because of the coronavirus, y'all see things are changing. Kentucky Fried Chicken says they, they're no longer going to say finger looking good. Now, they've been saying finger looking good for a long time. But they say they are dropping that slogan for now. Happy birthday, Sean Connery. The first James Bond is 90 years old today. And that's something he is 90 years old. It was also 19 years ago on this date that we lost the singer and actress Aaliyah. She may be gone, but she'll never be forgotten. Let's get back to the coronavirus. Usain Bolt, the Olympic darling, he has come down with COVID. He is cur currently in isolation. And Kevin Hart, he said that he had the virus earlier this year. Him and his wife are expecting a new addition, baby K. It's going to be a girl. His fourth child, his second daughter, her second child, first daughter, because they had a son two years ago. They had a drive-by baby shower where you just drove by with your gift and just dropped it off to protect her and the baby. As you can tell, we ain't playing here. Look at all our cleaning stuff. Is this funny? It's funny. I know people like to say things, but we ain't playing. We're going to kill any germ that, think they, that thinks it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up in here. And speaking of the coronavirus, you got to wear your mask correctly. They're getting on people for what they're calling half mask wearing. They're saying that even if you wear your mask halfway, you could still spread the virus. Down in the Gulf Coast, Hurricane Laura looks like it's going to be a category two or three. It's going in the same path as Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey was three years ago, and it was devastating down there to the Gulf. Of course, to Houston, it was just devastating. But Hurricane Laura, let's keep, you know, say a special prayer to them. Jacob Blake, the young man who was shot seven times by officers, for no reason in Wisconsin, his dad is speaking. And even though Jacob survived that attack, he may be, he's paralyzed. Now, doctors are saying they don't know if it's a permanent thing, but right now he's paralyzed from the waist down. People are tired of the unnecessary violence. And when you see something like that, I think there's a better way to handle a situation or take somebody down, especially when they don't have a weapon. Glamour Magazine, the whole September issue is gonna be dedicated to black women, their hair and stories. I think that, you know, African-American women, we have stories from going natural to embracing our, our, our curls, our locks. We all have a story, hair disaster stories, worrying about it swelling up, trying to make that journey because it's not easy in the beginning when you decide to go natural with your hair. I am so looking forward to this issue of Glamour Magazine and hearing the various hair stories, but for the first time in their history, whole whole issue is just dedicated to the hair stories and I guess the the fascination, the the stories, the brilliance, the uniqueness, how powerful our hair can be and when we finally embrace our hair and not listen to the naysayers what a lot of people go through on their jobs a lot of jobs 
will harass women because they've worn their hair natural. Then there's a lot of hair mistakes. Okay, we know there's a lot of people that they're not they're not doing it right, and they need to be shown the way in which to do natural hair. One of my biggest pet peeves is, you know, just because you wear your hair natural don't mean that you don't wash it. You do wash your hair. I've been locking my hair for 15 years. I've worn my hair in natural style since the 90s and it has been a journey and when I write my book there is definitely going to be a part just on the hair journey but that September issue Glamour magazine also the September issue I told you guys this yesterday uh, Vanity Fair magazine it's dedicated to Brianna Taylor her mother gives a fascinating interview she talks about it took hours for them to even tell her that her daughter died, how she died. And then when she found out how she couldn't even see her daughter, they wouldn't even let her see her. She was gone down in her own apartment. You bring up things like this because the senseless murders, they have to stop. Brianna Taylor, say her name. May she never be forgotten. But that issue of Vanity Fair where you know, great story where they talk to Brianna Taylor's mom. It's on newsstands this week. I love our time together. If you like the channel, hit the like button. I do read the comment, which is like shocking for like a lot of people. I know people, you know, they do the YouTube thing and they don't read the comments. I, I read and respond and it's okay. It's okay to disagree. I love that you guys take time out to enjoy the stories and the channel. Maybe maybe I'll say something that you don't really like, but you'll but you'll come back anyway. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. You know that I saw it if I heart you. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.